In the world of electric power tools and accessories, Milwaukee is always a popular and trustworthy name. From DIY enthusiasts to professional workers, everyone relies on Milwaukee in the job site and small projects. Just like any other successful organization, the road to this tremendous success for Milwaukee wasn't a bit of roses for the company itself. When the First World War was coming to an end, automotive tycoon Henry Ford approached fabricators to produce a compact, lightweight and portable 1x4-inch power drill. A. H. Peterson seized the moment and manufactured the tool that everyone knew back then as the hole shooter. It was the first industrial drill that could be held in one hand and carry out heavy-duty workloads. Four years later, Albert F. Siebert joined with Peterson and founded A. H. Peterson Company. Unfortunately, a fire disaster took place and the company shut down completely. Siebert bought the rest of the company's share through auction and launched it as Milwaukee Electric Tool Corporation in 1924. The company started its journey with a goal in mind to deliver the best heavy-duty power tools and accessories for working professionals. Their target was not only to increase productivity, but also to ensure unmatched durability no matter which product they invent. In the early days, Milwaukee kept repairing existing tools rather than manufacturing new ones to keep itself in the race. They invested hours researching the shortcomings of the existing tools to have a clear vision of customer demand and fill up the gap. In 1930, Milwaukee Tools obtained equipment specification ratings from the US government and started applying Navy standards in their tools. After that, they started manufacturing portable hand grinders, electric hammers, and so on. During the Second World War, the United States Navy placed a significant number of orders as they were fully satisfied with the quality tools Milwaukee produced for them. In 1949, they took their grinders to the next level by adding a spring clutch. In the same year, Milwaukee invented the first 1x2-inch right-angle drill, which allowed electricians and plumbers to drill holes in different materials like wood, steel, etc. Soon after that, in 1952, the company unveiled the Sawzall reciprocating saw that was compatible with a full line of blades and versatile enough to cut through a variety of materials. During the 60s and 70s, Milwaukee steadily expanded both its manufacturing facility as well as product lineup, and they shifted to a modern 212,000 square feet manufacturing and office facility in Brooklyn in 1965. The 1970s has been significant for the company as they introduced new products to the world. First, they invented the hole hog, which was the first drill that could do large holes between studs and joists in residential construction. Then, they introduced the first 1x2-inch magnum hole shooter with the quick lock cord and easily changeable brushes. Then, in 1979, they again manufactured the first 1x2-inch angle grinder. Every year, they brought interesting changes to their product lineup and continued through the 90s. Finally, after a gap, they again introduced a 7 and 1 by 4 inch tilt lock circular saw in 1999, which was a lighter, powerful and easier version as well. During the 2000s, cordless power tools were getting popular day by day, but Milwaukee did not rush to create a power tool that didn't match the reputation and waited for the perfection in this field. So, in 2005, they announced their entrance into the cordless industry and introduced their very own lithium-ion battery technology. Sooner, they kept on expanding their product based on the battery technology and cordless design. Since 2007, they have switched their attention towards disruptive innovation. In order to analyze market demand and understand the needs of the customers, they sent company people out in the field to have a live experience. They worked closely with the workers around them and distributed prototypes to gather their reactions and share their experiences before reaching mass production. In 2010, they enhanced their battery technology by introducing the red lithium-ion battery technology that has an overall 40% improvement in battery compared to previous ones. Also, they explored fuel technology that diverted their red lithium battery in three ways, such as increasing battery capacity, electric motor tools, and installing motor chips that act as a middle interface between the tool and the battery. Currently, they are dominating the market worldwide with the leading M12 and M18 cordless system that has produced groundbreaking performance in every job site they entered. Whether it's their innovative hand tools, storage products, or even their most popular M12 and M18 fuel products, they are always prepared to deliver a continuous flow of innovative and solid solutions whenever you need them. 
So, that was all about the history of Milwaukee Electric Power Tools. Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment and share with your friends if you found the video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.